Hi, I'm Dr. Kane Chang. Today we're going to talk about cerebral vascular disease, also known as carotid artery stenosis. So cerebral vascular disease, also known as carotid artery stenosis, involves a blockage in your carotid arteries. So the carotid arteries are the two main blood vessels in your neck that supply your brain. Um, the reason why, as a vascular surgeon, we follow those uh, patients closely is because if your blockage is severe enough, you can actually develop a stroke even without any symptoms beforehand. So the symptoms of cerebral vascular disease, also known as carotid stenosis, are usually stroke-like symptoms. So that, that would be uh, if you lose use of your arm, use, lose use of your leg. Uh, sometimes you can have a temporary blindness, sometimes you can have slurred speech. Um, those are the symptoms that are suggestive of a possible carotid artery stenosis or blockage. Also, however, a lot of times these patients that have blockages will not have symptoms at all. So it's important that the, the patients are found and, and if found um, will be followed and there are certain indications to operate on those patients even without symptoms. So there are a couple options of treatment for cerebral vascular disease, also known as carotid artery stenosis. Um, the traditional approach is carotid endarterectomy, which is a surgical approach in which you open up the artery and you physically remove the plaque, and by doing so, you are going to prevent that patient from having a stroke. More typically these days, though, there's a minimally invasive option of fixing it. One is called TCAR, transcarotid artery revascularization, which is a um, way of stenting the artery uh, in a minimally invasive way, and in doing so, also preventing that patient from having a stroke. There are other stent options also, but the TCAR is the most advanced at this time. Thank you for watching. Please visit us at vi-ami.com.